so welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is Brittany and I wanted to share my experience with my conch piercing today um, as you can see if you can see that I'm not sure probably have to zoom it in I got my conch pierced. excuse the um, little scar I have on my tragus <laughs> it happens with piercings but I got my uh, conch and I also got my third hose which is still kind of tender got my third hose pierced and my conch so, on today's video, I just wanted to go over getting a conch piercing. Uh, I got mine pierced. Today is Wednesday, April 28th, and I got mine pierced on Sunday, April 25th. So, it's been a few days since I got my piercing. Um, hasn't really bothered me. It is kind of easy to bump without even thinking about it. You can literally just turn your head to the side your piercing is on and it can just bump the your neck or your shoulder or anything like that so it's easy to bump um you can control it as far as you know taking your shirt off or putting shirts on or stuff like that i know when i want to get a piercing i go pull up a youtube video on people getting the piercing that i want i don't know how many videos i watch people getting conch i also did that for the industrial before i got my industrial done i don't know i just I just feel like getting all the information I can on YouTube and also seeing people get the actual piercing to see, you know, if it was real painful for them or if they bled a lot. I don't know, but I always go to YouTube when I'm about to get a piercing. So that's why I decided to make a YouTube video on my piercing because people want to know. And I just want it to be, you know, one more video that anybody could watch to, you know, get some information on a conch piercing or any other piercing I decide to film. The pain? The pain, I, okay, first of all, I was set up to get a date piercing. I had went there, you know, wanting to get a date and my third hole is pierced. But the lady, the piercer there literally said I didn't have the anatomy for it. I was put on the spot to, you know, I already paid for three piercings. I was going to leave with three piercings and my next one that I planned on getting once the date healed was the conch so I was like go ahead and give me the conch I was not prepared I psyched myself up again through YouTube watching people get date piercings um date piercings gone wrong healing process of days how I heal my day if I don't watch so many day videos I was so psyched up to get a day was not prepared at all to get conch, uh, conch piercing. I did previously watch some videos, but I was re prepared to get a death, not a conch. But the lady, the piercer, I keep saying the lady, the piercer said that the conch piercing shouldn't hurt as much as a normal cartilage piercing, like one of these. And I didn't believe her. I mean, it's going through the middle of your ear. Like, it's going through the middle of your ear. You gonna tell me it just feels like one of these? But I mean, in all actuality, that wasn't really that bad. Piercing pain, I'll maybe give it about maybe like a four out of ten. Putting the jewelry in maybe hurt worse. I feel like the tragus. I feel like getting my tragus or maybe even this part of my industrial hurt more than getting a conch. And I still can't believe it because it's literally going through the middle of your ear. I guess I'm not sure if the cartilage itself, if it's the more thicker it is. No, because then, I don't know. I honestly personally think that a tragus and or the top part of the industrial piercing hurt more than getting a conch. It really was no thing. Like, I thought it was going to take forever. I thought I was going to hear, you know, the crunch. I didn't hear anything it was really just quick and the worst part about it was her putting in the jewelry but here it is um like I said it's been about three days and I've been cleaning it I've been using the you see that I've been using the Neil Med wound wash I picked up two bottles of these from Walmart the day before I you know were getting pierced so I could have that on me but I mean other than that really you know just chilling um it does kind of hurt when it gets bumped but other than that like right now i don't feel anything um i also got oh i mentioned i got my third holes and for some reason this one is way more sore than this one i've been able to sleep on this side but this whole ear i guess is going through something because it's sore it's sore but i i leave it alone it is starting to itch and I know that um, 
itching is a sign of healing when it comes to piercing even though it's been about just three days it's starting to itch a little bit but I'm trying to you know I haven't moved it I haven't tried to rotate it I haven't been cleaning it with q-tips I've just literally been spraying my ear front and back and just you know wiping away the excess and that's it I do plan on getting um, some sea salt some non iodized sea salt so I can you know incorporate sea salt soaks with that as well because I've heard good things about them and I've never done it before so wanted to do that so the piercing place I went to um, was it's called romantic torture here in Raleigh North Carolina I got my industrial there and I got both my tracheas except this one didn't like nothing that went through it I got the this pierced twice before and I've had to take it out but this one is still holding up besides the piercing bump that I have I'm still taking care of it but this industrial is completely fine and I just got my third holes and conch there been going there for a little minute um, again it's romantic torture if you're here in Raleigh North Carolina or North Carolina and you know wanting to go to a really good piercing or tattoo place I haven't got any tattoos from there but as far as piercings they're okay I, I mean I, if you ask I definitely recommend since it's the only place I have been to piercings are ten dollars hear me out I hear um, some of the videos I've watched on YouTube about piercings they're paying like fifty dollars per piercing that would most definitely not fly with me and I'm okay with paying ten dollars for a piercing I got three piercings and paid thirty dollars and I'm happy about that the tattoo piercing place itself um, does seem really clean they seem to know what they're doing honestly really up to you to take care of your piercing but um, ten dollar piercings don't phase me I got it and I like it I love it actually I can't stop looking at it so place I went Romantic torture in Raleigh, North Carolina. I paid ten dollars. I told you guys about the pain um, and a little bit about the aftercare. Um, so I think that's it. I'll probably do maybe like a one month update to see how the uh, conch is going because that's also something I would want to look into, like how how does the piercing supposed to heal what looks good what looks what doesn't look good so i'll probably definitely come back on here and do a one month update on my conch piercing because i want to know that so i'm just going to put it out there because it might be someone else that might want to know that if you got all the way to the end of this video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it leave a like and comment down below if you are getting this piercing or if you already have it give you girls some tips that would be great and with all that being said i will see you all on my next video bye